Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're gonna talk about a very very serious topic that is very dear to me. I'll tell you why in a moment. Obsessions and astrology and uh, we're gonna tackle the obsessions of each and every zodiac sign. Why do I say this is a very dear topic to me? Because myself, I've got a sun in a very annoying uh, square with Pluto. And guess what? Pluto is the planet of obsession and so is Scorpio. Scorpio is the actual sign of obsession. My dear Scorpio friends, I know you need to deal with a lot. <laughs> You even get a bad reputation for this because uh, people might think that you are the most obsessive sign of the zodiac, but that's actually not true. So pure Scorpio energy does actually rule um, obsessions in general, but each and every one of us, we've got a natal chart and we've got Scorpio um, in one of our houses so and Pluto in one of our houses also. And um, the realm and the domain that Scorpio and Pluto rules over in our birth chart actually says a lot about what we become obsessed about. So, to those of you who think that Scorpios are the only people who obsess over things, that is not true and let's clear that out once and for all. So, Aries, let's talk about what these rams obsess over. My dear um, friends, you Aries uh, obsess. You, you you get obsessed about. Oh my gosh! Yeah, there's a plane. Let's get back to it. So Aries, uh, they tend to obsess over sex. Yes. How simple is that? So these guys, they're the most competitive sign of the zodiac, obviously, and they want to be the best at everything. And uh, most of the times, they obsess over how good they are in bed and how many sexual relationships they have and how many sexual affairs and all that. Obsession in general uh, entails uh, something that is a bit taboo. So this is something that you can't actually tell at first about Aries or anyone else. So this is an obsession is something that you keep to yourself. So like I said, Aries, uh, you might never imagine that they obsess over sex, but actually this is something that they spend a lot of, th of time thinking about and asking themselves, am I good enough at it? Am I uh, doing it often enough? And so on and so forth. Taurus. Uh, Taurus is one of the most chilled back, chilled out, laid back signs of the zodiac. Yes, you are. Um, however, Scorpio rules their seventh house of partnerships and marriage and enemies, open enemies. Guess what Taurians obsess about? Yes, you've guessed it. They obsess over their partner, their spouse. So Taurus loves a few things, very good things in life. Um, but what keeps uh, nagging them is uh, their partner in general, their spouse. Um, this is what they secretly think about way too much. But you can't tell that. You, can, you can't actually tell that something is uh, bothering Taurus unless they are super enraged, which doesn't happen that often. But yeah, secretively, that's what you guys Taurians obsess about. What comes next? What comes next? It's a Gemini obsessive obsession time. Gemini's, you guys, Although no one can tell, you are actually very obsessed with work. You are serial workaholics. Scorpio rules your sixth house of day-to-day -day work and daily activities. And if you are not engaged in like a ton of activities every single day and if you don't have like a long list of things that you need to do, then you freak out. On the flip side, you obsess about every single thing that you need to do and you're always complaining that you've got too much on your plate. But actually, if anyone would take that plate from you, you would be like, ah, what's happening? What am I doing? <laughs> also, um, you have this tendency to become hypochondriacs. So, uh, obsess over uh, diseases and illnesses and sickness that does not affect you and will probably never affect you. 
but still, you are always worried that something is wrong with you health-wise, secretively. You're not telling anyone about it, but yeah, just saying. Cancer, what does sweet, dear Cancer obsess about? As you may know, I am a Cancer rising. Scorpio rules our fifth house of uh, true love and children. So we obsess over two things. Uh, most, so for uh, the first part of our life, we uh, tend to obsess over our crushes and uh, people we fall in love with. And when, that, and when that's over, or maybe it's never over, I don't know, because we have this tendency to have a super hard crush on people. Uh, then we obsess over our uh, children. I mean, I, I'm not sure why I say our, because I don't have children, but in general, Cancerians obsess over their children. They're worried about their children. They think about them all the time. They are the apple of their eye and, uh, yeah, all that. <laughs> the next sign is, um, Leo. Leo is like the soul of the party. Leos are so fun and entertaining and you it would never cross your mind that they actually obsess over things. But actually, what they do obsess is, uh, stuff that has to do with their fourth house, which is ruled by Scorpio. That is family, home, roots, actual like home property, like building or like house or whatever it is. Um, Leos are uh, always thinking about their families. They're always thinking about their homes and their roots and where they come from. And uh, they want to make their family really proud. So this is at the top of their uh, priorities list. So. First of all, they want to be liked by everyone, they want to be super popular, and who can blame them because they're actually very good at it. And secondly, they want to make mom and dad and the entire family proud to have such a person in uh, the bosom of uh, the family. The next comes uh, Virgo. What does sweet little Virgo obsess about? Uh, Virgo tends to obsess about what other people talk and what other people think and uh, the actual stuff that they say. As we all know, Virgos are super analytical and they literally obsess over what people say. So they turn it around, they flip it like upside down and they're gonna be like, but did they really mean that? Or maybe they meant the other thing and they spend nights thinking about what someone meant when they threw a word at them. So, Virgo, move on. It's not important. I'm telling you. <laughs> no matter how, how long it's on your mind for, it's not that big. Just saying. Libra. Libras, they're very laid back in general, I have to tell you. Um, however, they obsess over one thing that they would never admit they do. And that is money and the money that they uh, make in particular, the amount of money that they earn. Uh, this also comes uh, from somewhere else. It comes from Venus because as you know or don't know, uh, Libras are ruled by Venus and Venus in itself is a financial planet. Venus brings money uh, in general to people, <laughs> but especially to the signs that it rules, which are uh, Libra and Taurus. So Libra obsesses over the money that they make because they want to live a very nice life. They want to have money to spend on clothes and they want to look nice. And obviously they need the resources, the material, the financial resources to do that. But it's a secret obsession because Libras are going to say, oh, I am so past that. Money is not important. They are, there are way more important things in this life to think about. However, when they go back home, they're like, I need to make more money. Scorpio, my friends, this is about you, from me to you. What do you guys obsess over? Well, that's very simple. In general, you obsess over yourselves. You are always asking yourselves, am I, uh, am I good enough? Why am I thinking this? Why am I thinking that? Why am I doing this? You're overanalyzing yourselves. You are uh, psychoanalyzing yourselves and other people, but especially yourselves. You are 
persistent in digging deeper and deeper and deeper within yourselves and always trying to find that nugget of truth. But you would never admit to that, would you? Another thing that you might obsess over and that you don't actually uh, speak about. So you speak about all sorts of, well, when you do speak, because you don't speak that often. <laughs> uh, but when you are, uh, when you are open to people and you do start speaking, you can uh, speak freely about taboo topics such as sex and money and power. However, you secretively, you secretively obsess over your own body. So you are like always self-assessing and looking at yourself in the mirror and maybe worrying that you don't look the way you're supposed to look, but what is the ideal look anyway? So body issues, yes, they might be on your top obsessions list, but you would never say that because uh, worrying about how someone looks is such a shallow thing, isn't it, Scorpio? And you never want anyone to think of you as a shallow person because you are not, honestly. Sagittarius, what do you guys obsess about? I'll tell you what it is. You obsess over the things that you don't know. So because you want to know it all, when someone brings up a topic that you don't know anything about, in your head you're going to be like, oh, I have nothing to add to this. I am lost completely. Because most of the times you are the persons who know more than anyone else in the room. So you literally obsess over the things that you don't know. And you feel, you're always feeling, obviously, because that's how smart people are. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, because I'm not a Sagittarius, but just saying. Um, these guys, they obsess about the knowledge that they don't have because they would like to amass all the knowledge in the world to literally know it all. However, that is not possible, so move on, my friends. Capricorn, what do they obsess over? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, they obsess over uh, stuff that falls within the 11th house real. So that is friends. So they obsess over friends and acquaintances and people in their circles. Um, why is that? Because most people think that Capricorns are detached and aloof and cold and they don't care. Uh, the only thing they care about is money and they don't care about people or anything like that. However, they do care about people. They do want to be surrounded by friends. They do want to have people around them uh, which can give them a bit of that warmth that we all need and they're kind of always afraid that they're not gonna be able to tie any sort of friendships um, with people so they do obsess over not having friends and even when they do have friends they obsess over the friends that they have because they're thinking oh I'm not a good and a good a good enough friend so yeah that's kind of it Aquarius well, <laughs> this is a funny story. So, uh, Scorpio rolls, Aquarius is 10th house. The 10th house uh, represents career and public life and how other people see you and social status and all that. If you ever ask an Aquarius, oh, do you care what people think about you? Obviously, the very first answer that they're going to throw at you is going to be no, I could not care less. However, that is a lie. Secretively, Aquarians obsess over what they leave behind, over how the world looks at them, over how big an impression they're making. Oh, Aquarians, they, they always say that, oh, I'm doing my own thing, I don't care what other people do, but however, what they, what they are trying to do is show the world that things can be done differently, so they know the world is watching. Um, they know that whatever they do, uh, the people uh, people are gonna judge them. People are gonna look at them. People are gonna remember what they're doing because, yeah, obviously Aquarians have this eccentric way of drawing attention to them. They are very concerned about what they leave behind. Like I told you, they are very concerned about their social status, about um, the opinion that people have about them because they want to be friends with everyone. You know, they want to be one of the gang, but somehow be unique in their own way. So, and career. Career is very important to Aquarians, although they might not show it to you, although they might act like 
Yes, there are way more important things in life. However, that is not the case. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Pisces, my dear Piscean friends, <laughs> you tend to obsess. What you obsess about is actually one of the most obvious things. Maybe it's obvious for me because I, I've been doing astrology for, for so long. You obsess uh, over spirituality, over the meaning of life, over religion, over truth, over sacrifice, over uh, anything spiritual, basically. Uh, you want to feel what the entire world feels and you want to tune into the soul of the universe and we're always thinking that which is actually quite true uh, <laughs> that the truth is uh, hidden that the truth is not within reach and you obsess about it it's something that concerns you a lot so yeah that's kind of it guys let me know if you obsess over any of these things that i've mentioned here if you've got uh, friends who might uh, recognize themselves in the descriptions uh share this with them and yeah just let me know your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe because there are so many more videos coming up i'll see you next time